is it really that uh, people have to spend like maybe 50 lakhs or 80 lakhs for a master's uh, of science degree uh, in US, which is called MS? I, I don't know whether the numbers are realistic. You're the one who can maybe just give us a pointer. And is it possible that people can get scholarships or stuff like that? Is it realistic? What's your view? Because you have been there, you can give us a view. So, uh, so the number that you are mentioning, Komal, uh, 50 lakhs, 70 lakhs, that's probably an average figure, uh, but it's not necessary that every, need, every student needs to spend that much. There yeah. are options where a student might complete the course in probably less than 30 lakhs as well. Uh, I'm talking about the US specifically, but depending on the country that a student chooses, it's possible to spend even lesser than 30 lakhs, maybe lesser than 15 lakhs, depending on the country that they are choosing. Okay, so there is possibility. Now talking about scholarships, uh, scholarships are also available. There are some uh, uh, institutions which give scholarships to students who are going abroad for higher education. Some institutions are there within India. Some of the institutions are also there in that particular country, which will help the students. And there are some awards within the university that they are applying as well. They can also apply for those scholarships and get some, uh, you can say, uh, reduction in the tuition fees that they have to pay. So that is also possible. Yeah. Okay. And also, guys, uh, we have a complete playlist, right? So what we'll do, we'll record the videos, we'll put it in the playlist in the description box. So we have a video that we'll have for our, uh, talking about the total cost that it will take for you to study in the uh, US, probably for an MS. And also, we will have uh, one section that will cover maybe how you should also look at education loans as one of the options, because uh, not everybody 